Hey guys, Olivia here from Human Will Perform. Wanted to talk to you guys today about trauma and the brain. Now, I work with both kids and adults, and so this information is for both of you guys, okay? Um, whether you're a parent, whether you are a single adult, whether you are a 14-year-old kid trying to make sense of what's going on in your brain, I am here to help you, okay? So the brain is super, super complex, and so I'm going to give you the basics here. So if you have any questions off of this video, please just shoot me an email at humanwillperform at gmail.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. I'm not a neuroscientist, not a neurologist. I'm a holistic mental health therapist, and so I constantly work with people's brains and their emotions and their behaviors and everything that constitutes a human being and so I am really passionate about the ways in which trauma affects our brains and so I see it most acutely with my younger kids right um, because their behaviors are telling me what's going on inside their systems and so when when I think about the brain or when I think about a client um, I, I'm picturing everything uh, that's kinda going on there we have an upstairs brain and we have a downstairs brain okay and this language is taken from Dan Siegel's book called The Whole Brain Child um, even if you're not a parent, I use, I, I literally have my husband read this book and tell him, hey, this is exactly what you should be doing with me, all right? Because it, while it's helpful for parents, it's super helpful for people in general because kids are not any different than adults in terms of how they go about getting their needs met more than you would think, right? Because our behavior strategies as kids turns into our relationship strategies as adults. That's another video. But today, okay? So we have an upstairs brain, we have a downstairs brain. The upstairs brain is everything involved with higher executive learning and memory, logic, those types of things, okay? And our downstairs brain is really our survival brain, our reptilian brain, okay? Um, so that is involved with breathing, survival, um, big emotions, because down in the downstairs brain is what we call the amygdala. It's the baby gate of the mind um, is what is what Dr. De Seagal kind of refers to it as, so the amygdala. The amygdala is involved with big, big emotions, okay? And so I kind of use this diagram with my little kids. If this is our downstairs brain, okay? This is our amygdala, which actually in, in, in real life, it's like the size of an almond, which is insane. Um, but bear with me. This is our amygdala, big emotions here, okay? This is our upstairs brain. When we have them integrated together like this, when we become upset, upset um, angry, triggered, right? Our fight, flight, or freeze comes out of here. When that gets triggered or tripped, right? We're choosing one of those of how we're going to survive, right? Um, when we have an integrated brain, our upstairs is able to help our downstairs kind of calm down. But what happens for most adults and for most kids, uh, if we're honest, is when we become dysregulated, we become triggered, um, our fight, flight, or freeze gets tricked, um, we go from being integrated and whole to literally flipping our lid. So in this diagram, or in this illustration, right, when we flip our lid, my upstairs brain is no longer connected to my downstairs brain. So my upstairs brain is gone. Pfft. Right? It's literally my amygdala and my downstairs brain, so I'm wigging out. I'm yelling, I'm cussing, I'm, I'm fetal positioning it up, right? I'm becoming dysregulated, I'm frustrated, I'm anxious, all of those big emotions, fear, panic, worry, right? My upstairs brain is gone, it's shut down, because that's what happens when our, when we get traumatized, whether it's a single event or a series of events over a chronic period of time, our upstairs brain says, whoa, this is too much. We're going to shut this down. So it's literally like in a house, they shut off the upstairs lights, or shut down all the lights, going down, right? So they shut those off, and then you are literally in survival mode. It's like the floodlights come on, okay? you got a few lights flowing, and that's your downstairs brain. Fight, flight, or freeze. That's your options. So you either fragment, you compartmentalize, you dissociate. You've got to put it somewhere because it's so, so overwhelming to your system, whether you're being sexually abused, verbally assaulted, 
emotionally abused, physically abused, any type of abuse or what you would perceive as abuse. And Pia Melody in her book Facing Codependency talks about abuse in a really broad spectrum that is anything less than nurturing. AKA everyone has been abused under that umbrella, right? Even the most well-adjusted of us. But something that's so overwhelming to my system, my brain takes care of me and says, whoa, we gotta shut down, we gotta survive. Okay? And, but what happens often is when we grow up and that's never fully addressed, we become locked down or frozen. Okay? And then maybe when we're in our 20s or 30s, something happens. We either feel deja vu or we freak out over something that's really not that big of a deal. And, you know, and an image pops up in our brain and we're like, whoa, I haven't thought about that in 20 years. And we become dysregulated again. Because your brain says, this is too familiar. Remember this? Pops a picture in your head and you're like, uh, yeah, that's terrible. Shove it back down, right? And when you shove emotions continually down and down and down and down, they're going to come out eventually. They're just going to come out sideways. So they're going to come out in the moments when you're yelling at your kid. Or in the moments when you're talking to the client and you just have a meltdown over a really minute thing. It comes when we least expect it. But when we're able to identify and confront, process those emotions, right? Whether we are as an adult, we're doing that for ourselves. What do I need? What am I really after right now? We're helping our kids re-regulate. Can give me your eyes. What's going on? What do you need right now? I can see you're really upset. Naming it for them, validating it, but then asking them what do they need. I just need a hug. My feelings got hurt. I know, babe. That sucks. That's so hurtful. What do you want to do? Right? Helping them re-regulate. Calming the system. Bringing them back down. How do you do that for yourself? Right? Because as adults, we need to do that too. So if you don't have those tools, we need to, we need to get you to learn them. Okay? Cue me as a counselor. That's what I do. I help people discover who they are and who they were created to be. I mean, that's the journey, right? Super experiential and very less A to B to C, right? Because when trauma hits your brain, whether it's a single event or a series of events, chronically, your brain shuts down, logic goes out the window, and you're in survival mode. So the question is, are you in survival mode? Or are you thriving, not just surviving, right? So I could go on and on for a long period of time about neurotransmitters and how 95% of them are found in our guts and in our head and the crazy connection of the mind and body, but I'm not going to do that. That's later. But just suffice it to say that trauma impacts us significantly. It rewires our brain. It's very much like what chemicals and drugs do to our systems. They rewire the neural pathways. And when those connections have been fired together, right, whatever fires together, wires together is kind of the same. And when those pieces are fired and wired in childhood, holy smokes, it affects our ability uh, to regulate our emotions, to attach to other people, to be able to be socially competent with others. Um... Um, just to name a few big ones so it matters right and so make sure that you do some personal work look in figure that out it's so important it's an investment not only for yourself but for those you're in relationship with so make sure you subscribe to please please subscribe to our YouTube channel I want you to get this information because knowledge is power Okay? And I'm so passionate about educating people of the things that I care about, the things that I love that really, really do make a difference in people's lives. And so make sure that you subscribe so that you'll get a cool little email saying, hey, Olivia's uploaded a new video on a human will perform. Because I'm going to be rolling out some new content here in the next couple weeks about attachment, trauma, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, some good stuff. And I don't want you to miss it. So, anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.